All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Form Validation by Building a Calorie Counter, Step 46. All right. So after our label element and on a new line in our template string, we're going to create an input element. We'll give it a type attribute set to text, a placeholder attribute set to name, and an ID attribute that matches the for attribute of our label element. All right. So after this uh, closing angle bracket on the uh, closing label tag, we'll come down here to a new line and we'll make an input. All right. And inside the input, we're going to give it a type equals. Uh, then we'll have the double quotes and we'll make it text. All right. Then we'll do a placeholder equals double quotes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Equals uh, double quotes. And inside here, we're going to give it a name like this. And then we're going to do an ID equals double quotes. And for this one, we're going to take what's in this uh, for attribute on the label. So we'll just uh, take it from the dollar sign on this. Um, what do we call these? I, I always forget uh, the embedded expression all the way to the E on name. Let's uh, take that and drop it off between these two uh, quotes right there. And this should take care of it. Uh, the more we do this, the more it's looking like we're actually just making some HTML for add entry. I mean, that's what it says. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little slow on the uptake. It's really still hard for me to understand what's going on right here, but whatever. We'll probably figure it out. We'll figure it out uh, once we, we're done with this function. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 47. And we'll see you next time.